Katina, who this year will be celebrating her 42nd 
seventh birthday. Katina is also the matriarch or the leader of our pod. Now here at SeaWorld, our training techniques create a language between us and the whales. It's a language of learning through positive reinforcement, encouragement, commitment, and care. Through these techniques and our relationships, the whales learn to trust us. They even learn to take an active role in their very own health and well-being. Now, one of the first healthcare, or what we call husbandry behaviors we train the whales to do, is a position in which we would ask for a voluntary blood sample. As you can see, the whales are asked to roll ventral or upside down and present their tail flukes. Not only does this position give us a great look at the whale's entire body, but it also gives us access to the blood vessels that are easily seen on the white undersides of their tail flukes. Our veterinarians collect a blood sample at least once a month, and the whales are trained to remain calm and relaxed throughout the procedure. Now, if you watch us as trainers, we're always rubbing down the whales, sometimes on their backs, sometimes on their bellies, sometimes even on their flippers or their tail flukes. This allows us to create that bond or the relationship, the connection that we all have with the animals here at SeaWorld. Today is actually a very special day for all of us here at SeaWorld because today is Malia's 16th birthday! Sweet 16. Now Malia not only represents the animals that SeaWorld was founded on over 50 years ago, but she continues to be the animals that we continue to be dedicated to. So by visiting the park today, not only you guys get to contribute to SeaWorld's efforts in helping animals all over the world, but you get to share special moments like this with all of us, Malia's birthday. So on the count of three, let's hear happy birthday for Malia. One, two, three, happy birthday! Nicely done. All right, Malia, let's show them how we weigh the killer whale. Just like this, we just ask them up and out of the water, but we need her to weigh that or lift that tail so that weight is accurate. Now watch this. All we do is simply ask her to raise that tail up and out of the water. There's the birthday girl. Nicely done. Training this posture enables us to ensure accuracy so that we know that young whales are growing properly and that the older everyday whales are maintaining a healthy weight. And the care isn't just visible. Mental stimulation and play are vital, and we surprise and engage with our whales with every opportunity. Play is how killer whales teach their young to hunt, and for the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for play is an important part of life for killer whales and for us. Did you guys know that killer whales love to play? They actually learn a lot by playing, and they also learn through things called mimicry and observational learning. From a very young age, killer whales learn important life skills by playing games like follow the leader with their mothers and other whales. And we are going to put that to the test today with the SeaWorld legend herself, Katina, and another birthday girl, my new friend, Sophia. All right, you guys ready to have some fun? Oh man, Charles, I 
clean environment. They're completely dominant, yet completely dependent. When it comes down to it, killer whales are not the most powerful animal in the ocean. She's our 47-year-old matriarch. 
We're asking her to do fluke splashes. Cool you guys off over there. All right, I think we're gonna continue on with the finale. So when we're ready in the mood, how about some music for this party? Thank you. 